Hello parents, staff and students. This presentation is about the arrangements for Interhouse Sports Day on Wednesday the 16th of July 2014. Please notice a change in the day with break being at 10.40 and period free starting at 11am. Lunch will be at 12pm with all competitors aiming to have lunch as early as they can. At 1 o'clock, students report to their tutor groups for registration and at 5 past 1, students will make their own way to their house zone with their tutor. 10 past 1 is when the action starts, with students competing in the hurdles reporting to the track marshal straight away. The event will be finished at 20 past 3, where a senior member of staff will dismiss you to your tutor groups where you'll be registered period 5 and then you will depart school at half past 3. Key things to remember for Sports Day. Everybody should be in kit whether you are participating or not. Remember try and wear your house colours and hopefully fingers crossed bring your hats, sun cream and plenty of water to stay hydrated throughout the day. Sports Day is split into two main activities. The morning events, which take part during the normal periods of the day. If you should be at two events, remember report to both and then participate in one and then go to another. The only exception to this, if you are involved in the 800 metres, where you must report to your field event and then come immediately to the track. Please take responsibility to organise yourselves so your house gain the points they deserve. The big main event is the whole school sports afternoon where students will represent their houses in track and field events. Events will start at 10 past 1 on the track with the hurdles for all age groups kicking off the event. The event will conclude at 10 to 3 with a 4 by 200 meter relays for all year groups, boys and girls. Again, please organise yourselves to identify the predicted start times for your event. In the sports afternoon there will also be field events at 10 past 1, the high jump for year 9 and 10 boys and at 10 past 1 the long jump for the year 7 and 8 boys. It is massively important that all students including competitors remain in their designated house areas. Students wanting to go to the toilet or to access the fundraising zone must gain a pass from a member of their house staff. This is the first time on sports day where we will be organising a fundraising zone. The fundraising zone and toilets can be accessed where the yellow and red arrow are at the moment. To gain access to this zone you must gain a pass from your member of staff from your house zone. This zone will not be able to be accessed if you do not have a pass. Please note a one-way system will be in operation where you can access all the workshops and fundraising zones but you then must return and return the pass to a member of your house staff. Please identify the numbers and the zones where you can access these fundraising opportunities. Please remember to bring some loose change with you out to the event so we can raise as much money for Hope House as we possibly can. Right, just to recap then guys, 
Read the timetable for the events, which are located around school and also on the televisions. Organise yourselves. Make sure you have the right kit. You have sun cream, water, and you have something which represents your house colours. If you are competing, ensure you are on time for your events. When you are not competing, support your house. Remember, your support really does make a difference. And finally, enjoy the event and try to put in your best performance when representing your house. Good luck to all and let the best house win.